obviously really tough times and it can be difficult to stay positive and just keep moving forward. Belinda spoke with Dr. Rachel Haley from HCA Midwest Health sharing advice for navigating health and happiness in the midst of this pandemic. If you're watching this right now and you feel like you're constantly going to the refrigerator, you are not alone. In fact, we're seeing that all over social media. But how do we still continue to put our health first, maybe in terms of snacking? I can relate to that as well. Uh, you know, in the beginning, I think there was this mentality that the world is ending. I'm going to eat what I want. And now I think a lot of us are just eating out of habit. But with winter coming, uh, we need to fight those pandemic pounds by breaking those habits. And look, I know kids are home right now, but they probably shouldn't be eating the junk as well. So try swapping those Doritos and Oreos and ice cream for things like fruit and vegetables with yogurt and hummus, plain popcorn, kale chips, nuts. And when the urge and craving comes on, Try filling up with water and going for a quick walk or jog or even doing some stairs just to get yourself out of the kitchen. You know, why is drinking water more important now than ever? Well, first, as you may have also seen on the internet, there's no evidence to suggest that drinking lots of water flushes COVID out of the body. But, you know, promoting good health is vital right now and drinking adequate amounts of water every day to prevent dehydration is important. And Dr. Haley, the pandemic has forced us to give up many activities that were once a given, but what about delaying doctor's appointments? So many of my patients are afraid to go to the hospital or the doctor's office because of COVID-19. But, you know, safety and health is the foundation of hospital and clinical care. And these places are safer and cleaner than ever. HCA Midwest family of hospitals and doctor's offices and urgent care clinics are committed to keeping families safe through stringent COVID safety protocols that include screening everyone that comes through, uh, wearing universal masks and heightened infection prevention policies. And we've also heard a lot about telehealth. So how has HCA Midwest Health pivoted in this option? And are you seeing patients this way as well as in office visits? While telehealth isn't an option for your kiddos' routine vaccinations that need to be given in the doctor's office and for, you know, labs and screening to manage chronic illnesses, it is absolutely a great option for routine visits and some acute illnesses. We are seeing patients every day, whether they're out of town or college kids back at school, elderly with limited transportation, and those that are just afraid to get out right now. In fact, our providers have seen over 40 thousand patients for visits since the quarantine in March and patients love telemedicine because it gives them access to providers within minutes from the comfort of their own home or wherever they may be. Let's talk for a moment about people who may delay going to the doctor because they've lost health insurance because of recent job loss. How can people still get connected to health coverage? Unfortunately, um, loss of health coverage is a byproduct of what we are experiencing right now. And this can lead to additional stress and anxiety for families. HCA has created a dedicated hotline for people who may have lost their job recently or been laid off or furloughed. And we don't want people to delay healthcare because of fear financial issues. So this is a free hotline. Uh, it's a service to the community. So don't delay healthcare for the fear of financial issues. Call the Uninsured Patient Advisor Hotline. It's free and that number is 833-541-5757. It's open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m.